Hello, hello, welcome everyone to the stream. This is Kray SW, and today we'll be doing some RTA, right? So, welcome everyone to the stream. Hope you guys are having a great week. And yeah, it's the Friday. <laughs> Thanks for chilling as well. So, Gianna, baby, yo, Alan, and Rakupan. Hello, hello. Yeah, we'll be able to start some RT session soon. Let's see what can I do here. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so now we are at like 1514 points, rank 6663. Uh, hopefully we can climb up to 1006 points, I think that's fair enough. So that will put me up around like rank 3000, I guess. Somewhere along those lines. And yeah, uh, maybe before we begin this, we can do like a guild battle. <clears throat> just like a warm up session. <laughs> Okay, I, I just wanna see whether there's like any interesting defense. So this one we can bring in the Gianna. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna stick with this lineup. For the bottom one, I'm testing out Riley. So few things that we can probably do here. We can bring in Teomar's Masha. Yeah, let's just try. <clears throat> Hello everyone! Yo, Cornelius, Adams, Fernando, Randy, Tuan Buingok, Hong Nam, Hong Nam, Ryan Tan. Yo, what's up everyone? So this one, I think we just focus the bomb onto the Wusa, then we just go for the critical error. We didn't get the stun onto this unit. No despair stun as well, so let's just stack the bombs. Uh, spread out the bombs, I mean. So double stuns there, and then we just turn cycle, wait for our skills to come back online. Okay, the threat state is up. So now Praha still has the strip, which we'll be able to do it. Yes, perfect. And then, let's put the bomb here. We need it. Oh, wow. Stealing my... Stats, that unit. <laughs> but I think Gianna next turn... Oh wait, no, Gianna still doesn't have the bomb up, unless we get a violent proc. Ooh. Okay, we have to heal up. Yeah, we, are, we can only normal attack right now. I need my Gianna to have the third skill, so critical error. <laughs> nice. And then I think this one will die to the normal attack. And then we put another round of bombs onto this hurt it. This team super safe. So far I've been testing this lineup. Never really lost yet. <laughs> the triple oracles. So I'm really liking this uh, offense in a way. So two turns sleep doesn't really matter. We failed to land on bombs but this one is definitely in the back. So let me just read the chat a little bit. <clears throat> what makes Riley so hyped? What does her stacks do? So uh, whenever she got three stacks, she gets to place the fourth skill, which is a uh, one turn immunity, a twenty percent heal, and attack power buff. Now, unfortunately, my Masha is faster. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we have to go for the cleanse. Oh man, the provokes. Can we land the armor break onto this guy? Yo, nothing. Oh, additional power. I don't like this, man. The resistance too strong from this gene. Everything going twice. Yeah, I think Masha is dead. Yeah, we probably lost this one, so maybe we, we save our unit. <laughs> I still don't know how to use Riley efficiently. 
But it doesn't matter. Move on to another plus two. So let's see what they got. Yeah, we can probably bring in the same lineup here. So yeah, my Gianna, my Gianna got an upgrade. So now her stats are like this. Uh, 189, but... Essentially, this set can go 192 violent. <laughs> because we just got another quad roll here, but... Um, it's only plus 3 for now, in terms of the grind. That's the reason why I'm farming back R5. I need like a plus 5 here, then it brings me up to 191, and this one still lacking a legend as well. So it can be probably yeah, 192 at the end of that. <clears throat> I don't have a better slot 1 and slot 6. But essentially these 3 are quad rolls. <clears throat> So yeah, let's just continue on with our guild battle. Just a warm up before we go go into the RTA. You know that that one is always very tilting, to say the least, right? And also tomorrow we'll be doing a live stream on the Facebook page for Summoners War, which is will which will be the day seven of the Southeast Asia Champions League. So if you're free. Tomorrow, 2 p.m., you can probably drop by, chill, and hang out, right? <clears throat> Is there any way to bring in a Riley? Mm, with Oblivion, then we got damage. Let's try this. I'm not gonna change the first lineup, I think <laughs> this one is super solid. <laughs> 30% accuracy, but I got a uh, I got the artifact which I'll be able to show you later on as well. So it's not too bad. That's the reason why you see it always lands, like in terms of the stun and bombs. Okay, no additional prop from this Luis, which is nice. And I feel like maybe we just try to focus down this small long first. Can we stun? Hmm. Wow. One Gianna bomb so much damage. Oh wait, was it Ciara's one? <laughs> Not too sure. Uh, yeah, let's just put the bomb here and we go for the explode. Oh, resistance coming up from this unit. Oh. Always into the additional proc man. Yo. Of course, that's, just, that's the reason why I wanted to place the bomb here. I knew he would get the additional proc. But it doesn't matter, we might still have this one, I'm not too sure. We need to kill, but everything is going twice. Yeah, let's just explode it. So first life of Perna is down. My Sierra should be able to tank up that damage. No issues, it's just that if we get additional proc, then we might lose our Sierra. Yeah, we have to heal up right now. Violent Revenge Perna? <laughs> okay. Wow. Ah, I knew it, heal pop. I think Sierra is dead. Yeah, unless we get a stun here. Set. Yeah, just let's just leave. <laughs> Oh, I'm not even confident with this lineup. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We play seriously after this. Let's just go for the armor break. Oblivion. Look at that. Everybody going like two or three turns, you know? Hmm. Okay, can we crit? Ah, uh, this game just wants me to lose. <laughs> My crit rate on the Tessarion is like really high. But double non-crits. 
So I, I don't know what's going on. Can we land like the Oblivion or something? Hello? Okay, finally. Let's place this. Do we have Nana? Nope. I'm just gonna show you how many I summon, like off off recording. <laughs> so we don't don't even land the Oblivion there. Let's just go for the heal again. Yeah, the RNG is actually pretty bad for now. Oh, on the Camilla, I crit. Nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, I expected the two turns. Okay. Should have used the fourth skill, but never mind. Even though I lose my. I lose my. Tilmars, it should be fine. Now we just place this because the Saryan will always win a Fingyan, right? I don't think I'll lose to this. Nice prop. Okay, good, we got this. Craig, you agree that prop and Siege and GVG same like RTA? Well, I mean, it depends, honestly. I don't really play much RTA, but in RTA, each violent proc is. Uh, each violent proc can actually turn the whole tide of the, the match, you know? Like sometimes, you, you might be able to CC crowd control them like really nicely, but just an additional proc maybe from an Annabelle resisting all your resets before that, getting the heal off, and then it's just downhill from there. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure we have those moments, right? Where we tilt. I don't really want to hit that guy. Okay, uh We'll we'll play serious for the <coughs> last sword. What can we hit? There's only two plus ones. This one is kinda e. Yeah but okay, let's just hit it then. Yep, we'll bring in this team for the bottom one Kakano Savannah Vigor. I think we can still try Riley. Riley Kakano sub. <laughs> Whatever, man. I I think it works. Shouldn't shouldn't have an issue against that. Okay, this one. Let's just push back the attack bar of this unit. So it actually gets the stun onto my gene, which isn't good because I need my gene to place the provokes. But we are running resistance leader. So now we can do this into the cleanse. And I want to kill off the Sierra first because Sierra is a threat. Yeah, we'll go for the transformation. Ooh, so much damage. <laughs> Additional prop. Nice. Yo, Dark Raid, what's up? Is Nana worth in Siege? Um, I've never really encountered a... N I never really encountered a good Nana defense yet. But maybe everyone is like, holding on to their defense, I'm not too sure. Like, probably only gonna show it in the Siege Velo tournament itself. But yeah, uh, I, I think in the next couple of weeks, we'll be able to see like, what kind of lineup most of the people might be going for. Um... Yeah, gonna be very interesting whether Kakano will still be in, will still be in the meta. However, I still think Kakano will be good. Because even though it's like a one turn armor break, but the beauty of Kakano is that if he gets a violent prop, the the game is Really scary if the Kakano gets violent procs, which is also the same when he had two turns armor break because he needed to move anyways. So let's just go for the kill. Nice proc, and then we can place immunity on our team. Let's just dismount this unit. And then we go for the hidden aim. I think this Savannah dies. Yeah, okay. Just go for the heal once again. Boom, 64,000! <laughs> nice. 
Oh, right. Uh, artifacts, right? Um, the Gianna. So, Gianna has like a 19% accuracy skill to accuracy 9% as well. Sorry, my contact lens is like bugging my eyes. I don't know why. So, f close to 50%, I'll take it. <laughs> At the end of the day, people won't bring in like very high resistance anyways. Let's just sell all this first. Okay, we'll be able to start our RTA. However, wait, I'm using Sierra. Crap. Okay, uh, we'll farm, we'll farm Steel Fortress, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we wait, we wait for this run to to end, and then we we'll start our RTA. So, in terms of mystical scrolls. Yeah, like, because now there's this event that can actually track it. So we are at 353 Mystical Scrolls used, excluding all the fire, all the elementals, LDs, uh, other, all the basically other scrolls. So we did quite an amount there, just that we haven't got any net pipe yet. <laughs> and I'm really totally out of Mystical Scrolls already. In terms of packs, we kind of bought like everything, so there's nothing to get anymore. So yeah, very sad. But it's okay. I believe in the near future I'll get the Carnal. I'm gonna try very hard to get that unit. Because I feel like Carnal, even though with a slight nerf, right, in the recent balance patch, it's still so strong. Like a 30% attack bar reduction to a 15%, I think it's fair enough. Now, most importantly, you can still land the stun and also the slow debuff. I think that too is actually more important than the attack push, the attack bar pushback kind of thing. What's the best room for Kakano Violent Will or Nemesis? Okay, at least for your, uh, uh, to answer this question, right? It depends on what you think the opponent will be countering with. So if they're going for the slow route, things like Man Like Vigor, Lulu, that comp is pretty safe against Kakano defenses. But if you run Destroy on your Kakano, then that team will lose. Same thing if you're going Nemesis, it must be very tanky because if you don't have any HP on your Kakano, the Nemesis will be quite pointless as well. So I would suggest either uh, Nemesis to... Nemesis is for against Raok comms, like the Garo Raok. Destroy for the man like comms and will for all-rounder general use, I guess, but for, for me, I'm just running both on a uh, violent wheel for both of my Kakanos. Basically, everything violent wheel on all of my units. Yeah, I, I don't really try to change it up. <laughs> yeah, everything, yeah, as you can see, just violent wheel, except Gianna because I don't have, like, uh, quad rolls for the slot 3 and 5. So just play, playing it as broken. All these are all violent wheel as well. Yeah. Craig, can you use Sierra while doing R5? Oh, is it? Okay, let's test it out. Alright, we'll be able to start our first match. <laughs> Yo, Janik. Yo, Cremon. I actually bought three times Go Colgate today. It was on discount. <laughs> Why are you telling me that? <laughs> nice. Congrats on the discount. Okay, we're up against a Korean guy. I have three Kakano, three Lulu. Oh, that's good. Preparing for the Siege Velo tournament. Did I just see a 32 speed rune on that Gianna? Yep. Mmm. Yeah, we'll run this too. But for my Ate, my Gianna is swift. Just that it's quite slow, honestly. No quad rolls for this uh, rune build that I'm having the Gianna on. <laughs> okay, we'll stick to this comp. Diana Kano. Okay, he's gonna go for things like Juno. Oh, Vert. Okay. Uh, with that being said, 
what can I do here? Because... I think he's gonna ban off my Gianna. We go with Oki. I'm only banking on the single... Uh, the single stripper with my Cheongpong. However, if we fail to land the strips, then we might be in trouble. But... My Cheongpong is at 100% accuracy. 85 in a way, with Gany anyways. Oh! Perfect. What I needed. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna reset this guy, obviously. Let's just do it. Oh, I don't like this. We'll go for the silence. Place the bomb onto Diana, so Diana won't be able to do like transformation freely. And then now. With this Reckless Assault, doesn't really do too much, so he's just gonna go for the Dragon Dance. We do have Cheongpong's pushback. He needs to land the... Uh, Provoke. <laughs> and he actually gets it. <laughs> uh, okay, we need... We need additional proc coming out from this guy. Because my Poseidon is on Despair. Oh crap. We might be in trouble. Please don't double sleep into a third skill. Okay, thank you. No, 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 we are, we are more tanky than that, so it's fine. Continue stacking bombs. Ah, Chumpong is dead, man. Yeah, it looks like I have to... I should have actually saved my Ventilate. I kind of forgot that I didn't use my Maelstrom yet. <laughs> But it's okay. Of course, resistance. So Diana, I think, will die to the bombs. Let's just go for the AoE. And then now, we need to land the bomb on the fire units. Please don't sleep. Come on, Rika. Don't sleep. <laughs> okay, thanks. We'll continue placing the bomb here. Because I want to reset the Rika again. Yep, I think this one is in the back. There's no way we lose. Yeah, we can always ventilate our Maelstrom up. And then we can just keep on stacking bombs on the fire units. Go for the Maelstrom pushback. Stun. Potentially no stun, but it's okay. Yep. Got this under control. Okay, first win. Cause you Mr. Colgate guy, you know I'm trying to get a sp to get a fresh small, but it's hot out here. <laughs> nice. All this... All these comments make, make my day, man. <laughs> Whenever I read all this toothpaste kind of thing. It's like I'm the ambassador for Colgate or something. I'm not sure. So what's up, Oki? Yep. How much time you spend to play Summoner's War? Okay, so this is a very subjective question. So sometimes I play like literally the whole day. Like I just leave my phone on. Every 10 minutes I just check, sell the runes, uh, runes repeat. And sometimes I do farm until like 20 hours a day. About there. Like literally the whole day until I sleep. Because sometimes I, what I usually do in terms of my daily routine, right? Um, normal work stuff, evening after I have my dinner and things like that. Either I do live streams or I make videos or I'm playing another game. <laughs> so sometimes I play until like 2-3 a.m. then only I go to sleep. So wake up around like 8 o'clock. So more or less like 18-19 hours of like just pure grinding. And yo, Jeff, what's up? How are you? How you know I'm in channel 130? <laughs> I haven't changed the channel yet. How do I use Water Druid? Okay, few users. One 
way for you to use him is just throw him on arena defense if you are actually trying to climb in uh, during the rush hour and stuff. So the that unit is actually really good in rush hour defense if it's very tanky. So you can just go like triple HP build plus like 30k HP or something. And yeah, just try to stall the, the enemy while having good damage output on your lineup as well. So you can run things like Samarf, Stripper, maybe some Vana if you have it, and a... Yeah, like a, a good one is the ones that I've seen like maintaining in Guardian in terms of Rush. Like Samarf, Clara, Savannah, and then you just throw in the a video. Shit, I was talking too much. I, I didn't <laughs> notice the time. <laughs> okay, now mine. I don't think this lineup is that scary yet, but I'm assuming a bearing is coming. So if bearing comes, I need to go Sama for speed lead. Then we have to pray that we outspeed him. However, if my Gianna is banned off, then we might be in trouble. Okay, um, with that Chiru means I'm gonna play Vert. So Vert might be a potential force ban. <clears throat> Both has the... Okay, okay. I, I'll ban them more. <laughs> this game all depends on Bird. Whether he actually gets the... The attack bar push. From the triple revenge. If not, I think we lose. So yeah, let's see. He needs to go for the strip. Wait, he could probably also just use the North Star Wisdom. Okay, never mind. <sighs> Vert, man. I tell you, my Vert is like broken. Whenever people play Vert against you, 100% counter. But my one is like potato. I don't know why. It doesn't work. Let's just stack the bombs onto this hunt, and then we go for the critical error. We need the stun onto the Rika. That's nice. And let's just try to focus on it. We go for the pushback. Oh, the resistance from the Rika, that's not good. Okay, we have to land this bomb. Oh my god! Ah, so angry. <laughs> okay, we have to push back. Please, 100% accuracy, dude. And we cannot even land the... Oh my god, okay. We can't even land the, the push back onto this Rika. You've got to be kidding me, man. What is the point of running 55% accuracy on the Gany? Everything is 100%. I can't do anything else. Man, Gianna is dead. <sighs> oh my god, additional turn. We need to kill this strand. So annoying, this unit. Let's go for the pushback. Good counter! Come on! <laughs> okay, I think we win. Nice prop. Armor break! We ventilate up uh, the Cheongpong. So Chiwu shouldn't... Oh my god. Actually kills my unit. But never mind, we got the serious meta. Rika down to the last hit. Oh, this was close. This was close. Another good fight. Clutch. <laughs> ah, sad. Set for the opponent. Yo, there's a wrong game in the description. Oh, let me change that up. Sorry about that. Because I never put the title. Is it fixed now? 
How to ruin Poseidon? Okay, so... For my draft, right, that I'm running, I always go with two speed leaders, two strippers, and damage... dealers slash crop control. So, uh, two of my speed leaders that I always opt for is this Sierra, and also more, right? So keep that in mind. However, wait, we can increase more speed now, because we just got that juicy rune. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I only got that Nemesis the other day. Like this one. Mm. I don't think I can change up anything already. Maybe this one's... We can increase the accuracy. Where's the Swift? Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> it, was, it was the second best. <laughs> Okay, we'll just keep it as that. So basically, two speed leaders in the form of more Sierra, and then in terms of two strippers is the more as well and the uh, Gianna. So if sometimes people take more first pick, I go with Sierra Gianna, and then after that, if let's say they go for Heigang, then I go for Cheongpong, and maybe a potential Jamir or Samoth. Where I'll be banning off the Heigang definitely and trying to outspeed it with the 33% speed lead coming up from Samoth. And then for the last two picks, probably we can go like Poseidon. My Poseidon is just like a really random, dis just a destroy, uh, despair set. So just speed, HP, defense. <laughs> Don't follow my build. I, I think you should just go speed, crit damage, HP, or attack on the Poseidon. But. It needs to be followed up after your stripper. So I don't have a crit damage dis uh, despair set for it. Hence, I have to use this uh, this really bad <laughs> rune set. And then, if I need like a damage dealer, I can also go for Savannah. So concept wise, always just try a thing. You need your strippers, and then follow up with your damage dealer slash card control. And make sure the speed tuning between them isn't too far apart. Alright? Gianna bully? Nah. They can always ban Gianna anyways. Craig, can share your opinion on newest Nana meta? <clears throat> okay, in terms of my experience against Nana, so far I've fought against it. It's really hard to deal with. Like, Nana, Diana, Helena, those kind of lineup is so frustrating to fight against. Because the unicorns have two lives, and then they just need to proc once. <laughs> and then they have two inevitable wounds, which is oh, game over after that. Is my Gianna max skill? Yeah. 455. So we're seeing a Laika. Which is a very interesting pick. We can go with a Shiho. Okay. So with Shiho in play, we can go with Gany as well. Tetra and Diana. Honestly, right? This lineup. I just banned the Diana. I want to make sure I land my debuffs, so I'm just gonna run the accuracy. We don't really need the attack percentage. We do have heals. My Shiho is quite tanky as well. So I think once we kill off this Laika, game is definitely over. So yeah, let's just go for the bomb into the critical error because I need to reset this Lulu. Armor break. If we land, okay, we land the armor break. <laughs> There's no way he survives this. This unit is bye bye. Okay. And then they don't have any more damage. Easy. Ah, <laughs> uh, so fun. Yeah, because his only threat was the Laika. If we kill off Laika, it's game over. <clears throat> Great, I'm starting. A new job next week, but I feel nervous as it's my first one. Oh, Adams, that's nice actually. So congratulations on your new job and your first job as well. Just 
take it like a learning experience. Honestly, don't don't because we are still young, right? Uh, don't just try to focus on money itself. Just uh, work hard, and I think over time you will gain quite a lot of experience. And if you're maybe unhappy with the <laughs> the job, you can uh, move on to another company, I guess, down the years, and see see what you actually prefer from there. But yeah, a uh, very good start. So congrats again. And hopefully it won't be that stressful. <laughs> Kremon, what do you think about Akroma change? I feel like Akroma got an unnecessary buff. It's a net 5, I don't know why they want to buff it like a uh, molly. Like in terms of the crit rate nerf. Uh, the, the, the glancing nerf, right? That they had on it. 30% to 15. It's quite sad. For net 5. So for today, we are just gonna abuse Gianna all the way. Alright? We are not gonna like leave her out. Every single fight, I'm just gonna pick this unit. <laughs> I don't care. I just want to enjoy this unit for a while. And then, what can we do? Wunsa! Huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Helena against this guy. We ban off the Bunsa. I don't think he's faster than me. Unless his segment is like super fast, because 114 base speed. Hmm. But we got two strippers, so he only can reset one. Which is still fine. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Resist? Ah. I have to do this. We, we still got the ventilate from our Gany, so it's fine. I'm just gonna do it. We hold on to our skills. Okay, perfect. And then we go with the critical error once again. <laughs> And now, we can go for the nukes. Let's go! Helena! Boom! We even landed the armor break already. That's nice. So we need one additional proc. Nope. Glancing. Thank you. And then, yeah, let's just reset the segment. Place the bomb here. I Oh, resistance. But yeah, Helena is so fun to use right now. I mean, maybe because I don't have Okeanos or Karnal. So this unit is like really fun for to use for me. <laughs> Keep on just going for the transformation, armor breaks all around. We get the pushback as well. And... Yeah, Samet really low on life. We already resetted it, so... She can't really do too much here. And then we can always just go for the transformation. Boom. Yeah, I think this one is definitely over. Because at the end of the day, water units don't deal much damage against the Helena due to the passive. And yeah, clean fight. Hold on, yeah? Let me just collect everything. Okay, uh, I'll be able to read the chat a little bit here as well. <coughs> is your Gianna on crit damage? Nah, my Gianna is just like a... For Ati, it's just like a swift build. For Siege, it's just like a tanky-ish Gianna. <laughs> because I'm not running the Sierra route team, I'm going for another defense. So pick Tetra, ban Sierra. <laughs> yeah, I mean... It was actually correct, like, in terms of his ban. Like, the second fight, right? The one previous. This one? But I guess he needed to actually ban off either Vigor or Shiho. 
But yet again, he thought his unicorn would have been going through. So yeah, uh, Sierra overall, I think is a pretty good ban because with Tetra in play, my Gianna won't be able to explode the bombs anyways. So Gianna is kind of like a sitting duck in this lineup. It's just that he didn't have enough damage output if we just ban off this Diana into the armor break. She holds nuke. Uh, yeah, Laika will never sustain that. So in terms of his ban was pretty much okay. I wouldn't say it's like terrible. Wait a second, did I see crit damage on Gianna? Why? Because of speed? Oh! Oh yeah yeah yeah, my... My Ate Gianna is crit damage basically because I have this rune. <laughs> it's not supposed to be like this, alright? Um, pr Preferably I would want it like just high crit rate. Decent, decent HP and like another 20 speed. <laughs> it's just that I cannot find the runes at the moment. I don't farm giants, so yeah, struggling a little bit there. <coughs> 3 out of 3 wins, yeah, we are taking it slow. Motivator Cray. <laughs> nah. I mean, like, like before I actually worked like under my family back then, I did like a lot of random jobs. Insurance, all those kind of stuff, yeah. Uh, just to just to learn, right? Because I feel like uh, previously I was like very introvert, so I don't really like to uh, talk to people. <laughs> uh, just stay in my own shell, yeah. Under hiding under my own shell, and yeah, playing games. Uh, back then, already playing this game, right? So yeah, I thought like. Try something new, insurance, have to go out and meet people, have to talk to people, explain the products and stuff. So yeah, uh, that, that one made me improve in terms of like public speaking and talking to people in general, I guess. So even though I stopped doing it, but at least I I learned something like which is really important in terms of life. Which is to gain confidence in speaking in the public. So this kind of lineup, he already took my Heigang away. Ah, uh, I don't really like the pivot, but let's just try. Because I want to ban off the Carnal. You look like the Asian Joker. <laughs> what is an Asian Joker? I have no idea. <laughs> Let me check. <laughs> okay, we are just gonna battle Kano. Mm. Yeah, we have to do this. <coughs> so much experience, Jana user. Helena runes. Oh, um, I'll be able to show you guys the Helena runes after this, right? You from Indonesia? No, I'm from Malaysia. So Diana, Diana might actually carry this team to victory if we just kill off the Savannah. I think very important to bring down this unit first. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the protection. Force the... Oh wait, never mind. Okay, Hagar moves, which is fine. So now we'll be able to place... Oh, never mind. Even if we get this stun, Heigang is in play. Yeah, it doesn't really matter anyway, so I just want I just want to give the turn to this guy. So push back. Mm. Please don't armor break. Oh, GG additional turn! I think we lost. I need Diana to move, but with the glancing. Can we stun? <laughs> we needed the stun. Oh, so much damage. Shit. Come on, prop. 
Man, yeah, this one is over. <laughs> we could have killed off the Savannah. Maybe I should have brought brought in a Leo. Yeah, in that fight. I think Leo would have been better. The Batman Joker, but in Asia. <laughs> Honestly, I don't watch DC movies. I'm more like a Marvel fan. Okay, okay, let's let's switch up our lineup a bit. We go for more this time. So Sierra. I want to play Heigang. But my Heigang no skill up. And the runes are bad. Hmm. But why not? <laughs> we'll just go with this three and then two damage dealers. And also somebody wanted to see Helena's rune build, right? So my Helena is on Violent Will. 158 speed, 100 crit rate, just speed crit damage, a speed crit rate HP. And the artifacts are like this. So skill to accuracy. Hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll go with this lineup. Honestly, maybe maybe running a Gany over here would have been better, but it's okay. I'm banking, we get first turn, we go for the strip, Josephine miss her provoke, and then we win. <laughs> yeah, it all depends on the Josephine. Attack break. Oh, Revenge Diana. Very interesting, that one. Gets the counter stun. I don't like that. Even lands the provoke onto my Chongpong. Are you kidding me? Yeah, just go for the shield, man. Ah, so smart. <laughs> I think we can afford to go for the strip. <laughs> okay. Additional proc, additional proc. That's how we lose. Yeah, this game is over. <laughs> That's a compliment. I see. <laughs> it's mainly because of the the laugh. Is it the smile? Like resembles the the Joker a little bit. Is it? Can see Gianna Ati runes. Okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave it here while I read the chat. What's your favorite takeout food in Malaysia and what's the one you like that they don't sell in Malaysia? Well, honestly, I think in Malaysia, almost... You can get almost everything. Like all type of cuisines. And yeah, recently I've been like really lazy to go out so... Whatever, whatever it is, I just take away. Uh, delivery back to my house. <laughs> Yeah, I don't use Heigang, so the Heigang is having like really bad runes. I need to change it up. But... It's okay, I, I don't use Heigang anyways. <coughs> no skill up. Are you good leader? Nope, nope, nope. I'm not. I'm just one of the, uh, the members, that's all. There's no Nana user, wow. Yeah, so far we haven't fought any Nana, which is quite surprising. Accuracy don't exist in this game, that is also true. <laughs> That's why you see me don't really care about accuracy resistance check. This guy already thinking that I'll be playing in the Gianna. <laughs> Taking the Heigang straight. Okay, very nice, very nice. So thank you, I'll be able to take the more away from him. Hmm. Triple Oracles. Are you taking a break now? How are you sustaining with your expenses? Um, I'm basically doing like YouTube. 
kind of like every day. I so I always try to like put out one video at least every two days or so. Yeah. What kind of lineup is that? Wait, will you? Will you some month? Mm. Yo, my contact lens is making my eye pain. I don't know why. Mm. Diana, Diana can be good. So if we ban off Wolyong, only damage dealer is some muff. He's gonna get first turn anyways. We remove the, the attack buff. So yeah, uh, let's try this lineup. <laughs> Are you one of the strongest members or the one of the weaker? I'm one of the weakest. <laughs> Alright, not weaker. The weakest in God. Yeah, that's that's more more or less of, sounds right. You can you can ask YS for confirmation over there. <laughs> Great, you ever been to London? Yeah, um, I studied on the outskirts of London for a couple of years when I was in uni. And back then, I uh, also traveled there at least two, three times when I was younger. One of my favorite places to go. Yeah, I love London. So nice. The people are really friendly, one thing. And yeah, I just enjoy my time over there. Come on, we need to kill off this Clara first, I think. Because my Moor should be able to finish off the Samoth and whatever is uh, presented to me in this field. I think Clara goes down, then... We kill off the Chongpong. We should be good. Can we get some Aerie stuns? Mm. I think Gianna might die here. <coughs> oh, crap. Oh, so smart, this guy! Oh no, more is dead! I think I lose! We don't even get crits! Yeah... Man! Do you have a wife? Nah, I'm single! I, I don't have any partner. <laughs> What's this lost battle? <laughs> Kray has three wives? Nah. Zero, zero. Kray, does the YouTube pay good thinking of getting extra income? It's actually decent, alright? So, um, because with the YouTube platform, uh, let me just explain it a little bit. But give me a moment. Let me just choose my units. So yeah, uh, basically with just the YouTube platform, there's a few things that opens... There's a few opportunity that opens up to you. Things like sponsorship, mm, like making advertisements or probably they pay you to play your game or something like that. Those kind of things. And then yeah, there's a lot of side incomes that you can try to earn from uh, doing YouTube, which is always very nice. And yeah, I would suggest if you guys want to try it out, just just go for it because like personally, I wouldn't even think of doing YouTube back then. It was just that last year, July, I think I started last July where I was like super bored at home. <laughs> COVID lockdown, I can't do anything. Then I was like thinking, ha, 
why not I make Siege videos? Because at that point in time, not many people did Siege videos. There were a lot of content creators for uh, other parts of Summoner's War, but in terms of Siege, just that few, if I recall correctly. So that was one of the main reasons why I actually uh, started doing it. Yeah, we are gonna ban off the Diana. And yeah, like I said, you don't try, you never know. I really did not expect to, to get like a very warm welcome. <laughs> like, within one month, I was already partnered with YouTube. And then, yeah, things things went really uh, smoothly. So all I can thank is you guys watching me. So thank you, thank you everyone for all the support once again. <coughs> I will be a partner, baby. <laughs> Uh, nah, it's okay. I'll stay single, bro. <laughs> Come on, don't push back! Ka. Wait, 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 wait. Can we outspeed this, Carnal? That's nice. But doesn't matter, right? Heigong is in, in play. So we just go for normal attack. Yo, this is gonna do so much damage. That's the reason why Karnal's so strong. With this glancing, oh, we failed to land onto this guy. <laughs> he can go with the second skill. Wow, look at that damage, man. I can't deal with Karnal, so strong. Let's just silence. Mm. I think Sierra dies. I need to keep stacking bombs on this onto this fire bison. But just look. Okay. <laughs> oh, the two turns sleep. So frustrating. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me let me focus on this fight first, yeah? Before I read the chat. Come on, come on, we need to kill this guy again. A silence, please. Thank you. Don't provoke. Sierra is dead. Come on, man. Jana dies as well. Oh, he crits. So lucky. Yeah, there's no way to win. <laughs> oh wow wow wow. So strong this lineup. Oh, we are losing every single fight from here. Crap. We are back to square one, I think. How far have you gotten with your account? Like in terms of RT? I've never really played RT much, so back then I was G1, that's all. Just buy the monthly reaps and special pack one. Uh, what do you mean by that? Oh, uh, yes, wait, wait. I, I'm, I'm just gonna show you like what packs do I need to buy because I kind of bought quite a lot already, like yesterday. But I just want to know like what other packs that I actually need to get. So let me know, yeah. <laughs> So Sierra, everybody is taking Heigang away, man. I'm gonna go with speed lead this time. 
We ban off the Heigang because I think Chongpong will be slow. So if it's on Violent, then we definitely get first turn. He needs to go with damage dealers here. Yeah, I'm banning off the Heigang. So going for a... Uh, Why suddenly kinky, man? <laughs> what? I have to ban the kinky now! Because if my Rika is banned out, how am I- wait, wait, If Rika is banned out, can I still win this lineup? There's no way, right? Yeah, I think there's no way. Hmm. Okay, I did not expect the ban onto the Gianna, so let's see whether we have a chance right now. However, the two water units... I don't know why I even picked the 24% speed lead. I forgot I had a uh, Samarf in my lineup. <laughs> Oops. So yeah, let's just go for the strip. Yeah, yeah, that one my bad. I forgot I had Samarf. Yeah, let's just attack break. Reset. <laughs> the shield is so thick, so we need to work onto this. Wow, actually so much damage output already coming out from him. So we just go for this reset, but yeah, I think we are probably dead. There's no way to win. The Dyna has the shield up again. He's just gonna keep on putting the shield. Uh-huh, wait a minute. Can we get some stuns? The accuracy is so high on this unit. Wow. Yeah, we just leave. Ah, the diner. Too strong. Yeah, honestly, anyways, even if I go 33% speed lead, uh, the outcome will still be the same. It's just that the draft, uh, probably really weak with that more and some math. Okay, maybe it's time to just, like, go heavy pivot this time. <laughs> yo, Huawei, what's up? Hey, yo, Morris, hello, hello, how are you, man? I'm doing good. Yeah, we can run this. Oh, that's very interesting. He like, pivot into second turn and then he still want to challenge for first turn after that. So what can be good here? I don't really want to deal with the summer. Yeah. And then we, will, we go with a crit rate leader for my Juno. How much additional damage does your more have? Um, I'm not too sure. I need to check out after this. <laughs> so he's just gonna go for the Toy Knight. Perfect, we resisted that. So if we don't get provoked, that is also very nice. And then we are just gonna go for the Purify. 
We work on to this. Oh, so much damage. Oh, even gets the sleep. We need one proc from Fran. Oh no, Gianna is dead. You see my Vert? My Vert doesn't get the revenge counter, I don't know why. Triple revenge, you know. So how are we winning this... This unit already, there's no way. He knows it. I can never win the Leona from here. No, it's not about the fire Ryu, it's the Leona. <laughs> How are we dealing with that unit? There's no way. Unless I wait it out until like 70%. Is that the way to go? You can draw. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> ah, so boring this kind of fight. Yeah, I'm just gonna press the auto button while I read the chat. I'm not gonna give this guy the points. Let's draw. <laughs> oh wait, he gets an additional prop, of course. Oh no, we can't even draw now. Wait a minute, we can actually break that shield. Oh, but he hit so hard. Attack break. Perfect. Stun. Yo, stop proking, man! Wait, we can win! If he gets additional proc, we win! Okay? We can break the shield! <laughs> what? Okay, the Leona might die here. As long as he don't proc. Strip. Okay, 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 okay. We heal up. Okay, okay. He proc already. So we heal up. Juno, you go for the kill. Crit! Yeah! <laughs> ah, GG, boy. Yo, you think Leona so strong? Nah, bro. Juno. <laughs> uh, I did not expect that though. Usually, Le usually Leona will have won from there. Like, no way to actually win that unit. Yeah, that was a pretty good fight. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Suave, I think I fought him quite a lot of times before. So, up against this... Nana user. Hmm. I feel like I need to take away the Diana from him. I can't let this unit through, man. Maybe the way to deal with Nana is going for second turn as well. Mm. What's this? Hmm. Okay.
yeah, we are gonna stick with this lineup. Hold up, Crane One, that was supposed to be content. <laughs> ah, it's okay. I, I don't chase for views, anyways, like on YouTube. I just do whatever I feel like doing for that day itself. Why do you bring Leo into a bird? Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, this guy next level pick. Wait. He picks a Leo and Helena into my Antares bird. Why? Like, you can only ban one. Hmm. No, no, no. Why, why do you even bring in a Leo when you're not gonna ban the bird off? <laughs> Hmm. I don't know, he's... This like next level play. Will I actually lose to this lineup? I don't think so, right? We are just gonna work onto this unit first. We go for the strips. Perfect. <clears throat> we didn't land the stun, but it's okay. <laughs> He's ahead of the meta? Uh, I guess so. His Leo makes my bird so strong. So it's gonna die to the dots. But... No, no, uh, we'll, we'll secure the kill with Diana later. We'll go for the nuke onto the friend. Then we go for the transformation, we remove the first life. So Nana's passive already used up. And then now we just keep on getting the attack bar push. Can we stun this unit? No stun, it's okay. So it's not gonna be hitting too hard. Goes for the heal. So this Ryu has the skill up. Oh, double glance. Yeah, we'll just go for the all-in play. Try to kill off this unit. Okay, perfect. Then we transform back. And... Yeah, I think we're good from here. We kill off the friend as well. We'll just leave the Leo last. <laughs> the Leo and Bird. Oh, the next level. And then we kill off the friend. Yeah, yeah, very good, very good fight. It was more of a draft problem coming off from him. Okay, additional turn. Let's just weaken this Leo first. Mm, down to the last hit. Nana goes down. We are gonna use a noble agreement. Oh, is it on? Oh wait, never mind. Nice stun, but it's on violence, so it it doesn't matter. He can just kill off one unit. It's fine, and yeah, the vert and Juno will finish it off. Okay, good. I guess he panicked though, like in terms of his draft. Okay, uh, YS, are you still here? Like in terms of what, what pack should I buy? Like what is efficient or whatever you guys call it. Like what is good. And also for the daily packs, right? Like according to YS, the first one and the third one is like really worth it. Who's this guy keep spamming the chat? Let 
me see whether I can block him. <laughs> Let me just remove. Okay, we're done. And yeah, um, like efficient. You mean this special one pack? Is it? He drafted like a fighter tree. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Can you do like a random premium pack of the day? Nah, bro. I'm saving. I I I don't really buy premium packs. You know. Like, I'm just gonna show you like in terms of what packs I actually buy. I only buy the premium 2, which is 3 times per month. So in 2 days time, we can probably buy another 3 LD scrolls here. But honestly, this one I don't buy because it's not worth it. Not efficient, according to YS. <laughs> that 750, you can farm a lot. Yeah, let's just continue on. So we are still around like the 5.8k. After 11 fights, we are not really going up. It's like stagnant around these figures. Hey yo, Perry, what's up? Yeah, premium pack 1 is really undervalued. I'd rather use the 750 crystals to do a shop refresh. And you might potentially get more scrolls from it. Hmm. I don't know how to ban. Hype user on this channel, is it? Oh okay, I think I think I'm done uh I think I did it. <laughs> Should be correct now. So Oki, Oki and a Riley. Very interesting. This is one of the first time that I'm actually fighting Riley in RTA. So what can I actually do against her? I know in theory we do not want to touch her because every time we attack her she'll be getting the totem stack. Three stacks then you get the fourth skill. Mm. Yeah let's run this. He's banning off my Ciara already. So his Ciara is banned out. Mm. Yeah, we'll do this. How fast is your RTA Gany? It's quite slow. <laughs> so yeah, a plus 23k HP, plus 1.9 violin with 1k defense. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay. <coughs> we got our combination. But maybe I should have just ran speed lead. I'm not sure whether this Okeanos will be faster than me. <coughs> Great, when are you doing 2v2 RT again? Uh, maybe, maybe next week? Yeah, we'll go for the armor break first. And then we go for the reset. So Tetra has a cleanse. Needs to cleanse. Oh, doesn't want to cleanse herself. Hi. Oh my god, the bomb. If I landed the bomb there, could have killed off this Tetra. Additional prop. Nope. Okay, okay, we push back. Come on, man, Sierra. Hello. <laughs> Can you like just land your bombs for once in your life? Oh, and even gets the despair stun. This game, GG. 
Ay. I'm on the timer because I don't have heals. So this Juno hit so hard. Oh my god, okay, okay. Hello, did I not run Gany accuracy? Did I not run Gany's accuracy leader? How is this happening? What is the point of running accuracy leader? 55% by the way. Hello, this game? Alright, alright, chill, 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 chill. We, we, we might still have this one, okay. Come on. Let's push back. Of course not. Resistance into the counter. Makes sense. <laughs> Additional damage, come on. Place this bomb here. Okay, thank you. Kill this unit. There we go. I don't want to touch the Juno just yet. Can we push back this guy? Again? My Sierra got the bomb. Double bomb! Finally! Oh, good. Ah, oh, stress, man, this fight. <laughs> if I failed to land the bomb on Juno, I, I would have been just quitting the battle. Just give up. 55% accuracy leader. Everything at 85% accuracy and we still failed to land the bombs like 3-4 times. Lost track. <coughs> okay, Chinese guy. So usually Chinese guy, their resistance very high. They also got Ragdoll and Atamiao. So we'll take the friend away first. Oh, he has Pontos. <laughs> um, yeah, we can run it with this too. So I'm assuming he has Atamel. Ragdoll, maybe? So Leo, Ragdoll? Combination? I want the ban of the Leo. Make crit rate Gianna. I need Gianna to be on the fastest swift that I have. Mm. Running speed leader here doesn't really make sense. I think we'll still be faster than him. Landing the strips is very important. So I'm opting for the accuracy here. Um, where we need to kill off the Molong. I feel like we need to bring down the Molong's life. If not, the Pontos Molong combination is gonna be really scary. So if we can land a uh, strip. The whole family counted there, but luckily we got the additional prop. <laughs> so we'll be- oh my god, we don't even push back these two units. Ah, Chompo is dead. Okay, we have to place this. <laughs> I'm speechless. I, I don't want to use Sierra anymore. Accuracy lead. What's wrong? What's wrong with that leader? Is it bug? Like, hello? 
55 plus 41, according to my calculation, is how much? 55 plus 41, 96% accuracy. And we got 22%. We got at least 120% accuracy on our CR. <laughs> Malicious better than good? Yeah, probably. Use uh, use Sien instead of Sierra. Hmm, that's true. It's just that I haven't ruined up. I think I haven't really ruined up Sien just yet. I need to check. Oh, interesting. He took my Chongpong. So, there's a few things that I can actually do. Mm, Heigang can be nice, but my Heigang pretty bad rune, so we stick with more. And then we are just gonna ban out this guy. If he gets first turn, wait, let me, let me just think it in my head. Whoever gets first turn, he goes for the strip. I think Gianna is banned out in this fight. So we can remove this unit. Yeah. I was thinking either the Kano or Chongpong, but I don't really want to deal with the armor break coming up from Chongpong into the Kano's AoE damage. So I just need to remove either one of that. And okay, let's try, let's try. Okay, what's the next LD Net 5 you hope to get? Oh, this is a very good question. So, I think if I get a Naftis, it's gonna be so good. Like, it synergizes really well with my lineup. Of course, additional prop. As expected, so if my Diana dies here, we might have an issue. Ah, oh, I need a Gany oh, with the slow debuff, man. If only, if only my Gany move in front of this guy. So yeah, Di uh, Helena is dead. Yeah, there's no way to survive. The big nuke is coming as well. Additional proc. And now that's just too much for me to deal with. Because... Yeah, two turns every turn. Okay, okay, we'll leave, we'll leave. I mean, the reason why I left Nana alone in this fight is because I am quite heavy on the win side. So for Nana to actually land the armor break is pretty close to 0% chance. I, 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 I call it... BS if he actually lands it. So yeah, that's the reason why I let Nana chew. I just couldn't deal with the Cheongpong's pushback. But the Kanal getting 2 turns every turn was also uh, a little bit too much for me to handle. Um, Yeah, um, what can I do, man? We are losing to all these kind of lineups from Nana. I don't know how to deal with Nana perfectly. It's not easy, man. So Chi will bust that. We'll take the speed leads away from him. Naftis and Lucian. Okay. So I'm leaving the Chi will in play. We bent off this. Yeah, we go for this too. We ban off the Bustet. Potentially, we can kill off the Lucian. So Chibu goes for the Strip. And if we get the Revenge proc, then I think we can win. Let's see. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Very important. Okay. 
Finally, finally, my brother Hal did something useful. Nice. What the rare outcomes. <laughs> Jogan CP Sierra Gianna. Jogan though. I don't I I never really ruined Jogan ever since he got nerfed. Does not need Ink Gany to lower the attack meter, what do you mean? I don't understand that. Does not need to aim Gany to lower the attack meter. I didn't even play Ganny in that fight. Wait, what fight are you talking? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I don't know your question, man. I didn't recall playing Ganny right in that fight. I know. I know about the attack bar, but you're talking in terms of which fight when I brought in the Ganny. Yeah, I'm confused. <laughs> So we are seeing Chiwu Sabana, we can run this too. Ah, <clears throat> oh, this guy is spamming the chat. Okay, so we are seeing Busted Poseidon, and then we... Can we do this with a Diana? Maybe a Leo could be, could be better. Because Leo... Leo works well against the Savannah, and he has forced to ban off that unit, and we still can challenge for first turn. Yeah. Once again, if if my brother Hal gets the triple revenge counter prop, we win. Yep, chill, man. Don't spam the chat. Okay, we get the stun. This one, we'll place the bomb here. <sighs> okay, alright, never mind. Additional damage. <laughs> Normal attack, Sierra. Awesome. Sidon is down. I want to work onto this Savannah. So, Savannah, we can leave her already. Yeah, we won. Yes, Gany needs accuracy. Oh, okay, okay. Understand your question now. Yep, Gany needs accuracy to lower the attack bar. Go through accuracy resistance check in a way, alright? Uh, TikTok. Um, but in terms of the reset, that one you don't have. Uh, you don't need accuracy. But the attack, the attack bar pushback you need. Your Sierra best daughter. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't know why. Broken. That unit is broken on my account. Greetings from a fellow Malaysian. Yo, Lee Honwen. And also, I remember another another person earlier before the spam. Maybe like 5-10 minutes ago saying they are from Malaysia as well. So welcome, welcome to the stream, guys. Okay, we are seeing a Japanese guy with a Bastet. What can we do? More Chungpong. I think always a very good combination between those two. Hi Craig, can you show Gianna's speed? It's really slow. Alright, just 202. I don't farm Swift, so yeah, this is my issue I'm having with my Gianna. Preferably I I'm just gonna hardcore farm for at least six months and see whether I can increase the speed by 10. I think I'll be pretty happy I'll be pretty happy with 215. So this guy pivoting into second turn, which is fine, alright? So with this kind of lineup, we don't have to ban the Bastet. We ban off the Josephine. And do we want to play Helena? That's the question. We can go with a lot of things here. Mm. I think Helena is fine. Yeah, we run with the uh, speed lead. 
Most importantly, we need to land the stun onto the Lulu. If not, things might be pretty dangerous. I don't even need to use the, the second skill just yet. So we place the bomb onto the thing and we go for the stun. Oh my god, the Lulu! We needed to land it onto the Lulu, man. Wait, 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 wait. We can still win. We can still win. The comm mine already used up. So you just go for this. He has revenge? <laughs> Did I see a revenge thing in there? Because he didn't have the comm mine. Huh. Very interesting build. Yeah, well, let's just go for the additional damage. Oh wait, he already has it. Hmm. Yeah, I keep... I need to keep on using this skill, the Swing Flame, and pray for an additional proc. I think that's my only winning condition. We go for the pushback. Kill. He needs to heal this guy. Mm. I don't know whether we actually got the reset onto that Karnal earlier. That's the problem. But we got additional proc, okay. We can... We can potentially kill off this Karnal before he even gets a turn. Come on, come on, come on. One more proc! <laughs> nice! His mic is shit. Oh, okay, okay. So I think there's something wrong with my mic, is it? Yeah, yeah, we won this. How's the sound? Is the sound okay? Great, not sure if you see my message. Hope I don't spam here, but do you still Twitch? What if your viewers want to donate to you? Um, Good question. I mean... I just prefer... Streaming on YouTube right now. And... Yeah, I don't I don't know how to answer to that, but of course you can always like just donate on uh the link is in my YouTube channel itself. Uh the mic is down. Is it? Hello, hello, hello. Is it? And the OBS is moving though. Is the sound okay? Testing? Or is the music too loud? I'm not too sure. Because in the OBS itself, it's working perfectly fine. So your audio comes out differently to the video. Honestly, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Just try to refresh the browser, I guess. Because I can't really do anything on my side. Okay, got it, got it. I think those with delay need to need to re uh, refresh the browser. So yeah, I I I, I can't really uh, fix that issue for you guys. Sorry about that. Um, going Helena here wouldn't be the best choice. Cheongpong as well. <sighs> oh, this kind of lineup so toxic. Yeah, 
It's so hard to deal with Kana Nana, just that I think about it now. I think all my losses to Nana is with the Kana for today. We've never won a single team uh, consisting of this two, right? So far, all losses. Oh yeah, can you show more artifacts? Uh, there we go. So this one is... This isn't the best. <laughs> uh, this one is okay-ish. Uh, very low rolls, but... Yeah, I'm just trying to get as, as much additional damage as I can. Um, I think I can actually change up for improvements. Just that I haven't done it yet. Mm, yeah, we can just go with speed lead, I guess. Problem is the Vert and the Kana, because Vert is gonna be able to just keep on boosting the team. Molly with the clans and whatnot. So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to deal with this lineup. Even if I put the bomb here and go for the stun, the Molly will be able to cleanse. So if we can land the glancing onto this vert, it's gonna be good. He gets the counter prop. Okay, on the bright side, he clans vert. If we can land the stun, <laughs> this vert 100% uh, resistance, is it? Mm -hmm -hmm. We are just normal attack. Push back. Wow. Oh, GG, man. AoE armor break into the SWAT rain. Ouch. Okay, okay, we have to land our dots. This vert keep on moving. <laughs> keep on getting the counter. Yeah, with Gianna dead. How are we dealing with this Molly? There's no way. Ah, I need a way to figure out to find out how to win this kind of teams. I don't honestly have no answers to it. I think today we fought at least four Nana Kanal teams. Four losses. Hmm. The guy drafting Sierra Gianna is calling other lines toxic. <laughs> Yo, you know, you need everything. Whenever people got Kanal, you have to complain as well. It's one of the best normal elementals unit. Anyways. So he's taken the Sierra. Okay, we try something different. We go with Molong and Lulu. So we got the combination running. He's going for Heigang. Very interesting. He's taking away the Dina as well. So go with Antares. Antares Juno. Force him to go heavy water here. That's what I want. Praha, I'm not scared because Praha doesn't have very good damage output. And a Vigor. Okay, perfect. So, a few things that we can actually do. Savannah. Yeah, we're locking Savannah. I think he's scared of my Antares. He's gonna ban off that unit. We got Molong to to challenge the Diana, like a Savannah strip into the Reckless Assault kill. Oh, taking away the Molong, okay. So, it's still good news, because it makes it so that this Diana will never go for the human form. Because he doesn't want to get uh, cut in between from the Antares passive. So here, we just need to fully focus onto the Sierra, 
I think that is the threat. So he goes for the buff. <sighs> he needs to bomb my Antares or Lulu. 100% resistance, man. Wow, even gets the additional proc. What is this? <laughs> okay, okay, let's just cleanse everything up. Let's strip. Oh, Antares is 33%. I didn't know. I thought it was 24. Ayo, hey, see you, Diki. Take care. Can we get some stuns, despair? Okay, we got it onto the diner. However, additional prop, of course. <laughs> uh, everything landing onto my Lulu. So yeah, um, can't really do anything about that. And then we go for the gigantic roar. I think we still need to kill off this unit first. Juno will be moving for the kill. Not yet. My this unit not uh my this Antares haven't dropped the passive yet, by the way. If I'm not wrong. Didn't see it yet. Okay, finally, can we slow it? Ooh, big damage. Vigor goes down, boom. We got this. <clears throat> hey Craig, I gotta leave to settle some stuff soon. Send you a donation. Please help me check whether you received it. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Okay. Thanks for the support, bro. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Uh, just checked. Thank you very much, Perry. I'll see you soon. Yeah, we'll probably stream like until another half an hour. And yeah, I have to prepare for tomorrow's live stream for Comptourist as well. Which is the day 7, the last day of the Southeast Asia Champions League 2021. Which will be at 2pm SGT. So if you are free, then uh, please make sure to drop by. Solid, see you with your Neftis soon. <laughs> oh my god, if I get Neftis right. Sugoi. Which I think is also impossible. But yet again, uh, this unit was impossible for me to get as well. But we managed to uh, to pull through. So yeah, Neftis, Neftis dream is still there. Okay, so what is this lineup? Actually going for Heigun here... Could be good, yeah. <clears throat> Can you show Antara's stats? Uh, here is my Antares, so plus 21, oops, plus 21k HP, 1k attack, despair, revenge, crit rate. Yeah, all you need is the 70% crit rate, because uh, the passive gives like 30% with a buff. Okay, this match, a few conditions that we need to make. When we go for the strip, if Verdahal gets the counter, we have another chance to strip if the Lulu goes for the immunity. And if we still fail to land, then I think we might be in trouble. <laughs> okay. So we got a secondary stripper. Calculated. So the Lulu will be providing the immunity here. Ah, additional turn, man. Chongpong dies. <laughs> oh, nice. Wait, wait, earlier I ran Gany leader. 
So with 55%, 17... Yeah, almost quite high as well, but... Another additional 5. 22% plus 55, 77% failed to strip everybody. So yeah, I uh, can't really do anything about that. I was just... 8% away from max accuracy. For your information, alright? <laughs> For those that say, oh, your uh, Heigang 17%. Okay. Chiwu Sierra, he wants to fight speed with speed. So we can go with this, we can pivot. We still have a very good draft to pivot into this second turn. And then now with this Oki, however, it's a little bit tricky. So Oki and Jogan. Hmm. I'm honestly scared of that Jogan. Yeah, let's just run the Leo. Because Leo always very good against these two units. Which means that I do have the speed lead with the this combination to follow up. I think Leo is a force ban. Huh. Bans off my vert. That's very interesting. Okay. Okay, any planning for the battle of Gianna and Ate with Sean B? <laughs> I have no idea, man. No plans about that yet. Craig, which country are you from? I'm from Malaysia. <sighs> Seriously? <clears throat> yeah, I just want to stun this Sierra. Because if we kill the Sierra, I think we win. Oh, the additional prop though. But shouldn't be hitting too hard. I estimate about 10k per crit. Yeah, 9k. It's fine. We need to get some stuns. Despair, double despair stuns, that's nice. And he's going for this. More dice. Which is fine, more already used his skills. So we just need to fully focus onto this Ciara. Good resistance! <laughs> okay, come on, come on Juno. Grr. Crit! Come on, just die! Alright, one unit down. And even if my Gianna goes down here... Once we kill off the Savannah means that they do not have any more damage output. So he's just gonna go for this strip. And our Juno will have the second skill, I believe. Good counter. We are just gonna strip it. We even got the stun onto the Savannah. Yeah, I'm not gonna even touch the other two units here. They're just dying from all these dots and counter. <laughs> Alright, got it. Nice. Fire Monkey would have been pretty nice here. That's also true. Just that I've <laughs> never uh I, I don't think I built the Fire Monkey. Yeah, no runes. <laughs> no love for the monkeys. Did Heigang S2 change to do nothing? It's just glancing. <laughs> glancing and potential strip, but obviously we failed to land everything earlier. Okay, I'm hopping off stream. Alright, take care Adam, see you soon. So Kano first pick. Mm. I think I want to take away the Lulu. Lulu Kano is so annoying to deal with. Yeah, we try to steal as many units as we can when he is trying to go for this kind of lineup. Because I'm already foreseeing this guy going for things like Nana. 
maybe a Diana as well, because Diana is gonna be so good against the Lulu and Morlong. So also the Singza, not too bad. Pretty nice pick. Um, I'm leaving Rika as last pick. If he doesn't pick any immunity here, we ban off the Molly. But for now, I think we go with an Antares and maybe a Juno. So I want to force him not to go for the Diana later on. And also our revenge procs can probably stun off this unit as well. Create DCB. <laughs> oh please. <laughs> not even close man. He's like all the way out there. <laughs> Trevor? Okay. Let's go, let's go! This is a very interesting lineup. So HP decreases, the damage inflicted to the enemy will increase... Okay. I kind of forgot what the passive does. <laughs> it's been so long. Mm. Yeah, we don't really need crit rate leader, right? HP for sustains. Hmm. Somebody is calling me. Just gonna leave, leave the, f leave the call. <laughs> Don't even know who's this. Do you still keep in touch with YDCB? Nah, it's been a really long time already. Yeah. Ever since we split up, like in terms of the guild, like I moved over to God. Um, never really contacted him. Since then. So can we get some stunts? Yeah, we're just gonna cleanse here. Okay, this is perfect. If you can get some more despair stunts. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. I'm scared to touch this guy, but I think I got no choice. That's a huge stun though. So Sword Rain comes, gets the stun onto my Lulu. Oh my god, additional turn! Oh wait, he didn't do too much damage, it's fine. Can we like just land the uh, armor brick on it? Thank you. Oh my god, so scary. I think... I think we are pretty screwed. <laughs> this guy is gonna hit like a truck. I don't know why I'm still touching him. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, he even gets the crit? Are you serious? We can't even kill him off. Now how are we gonna deal with this regal? That is the problem. Do I just go heavy on, on him right now? Cause he's gonna be doing so much damage. Yeah, I think I focused too much onto the travel earlier on. That's my mistake. But it's okay, it's okay. We can probably come back from this. But I would have loved the crit rate leader instead. So Juno is taking heavy damage. She's just gonna go with the normal attack. Additional turn! Oh man. Sword rain. Oh wait, no, not yet. Ah, uh, Juno is dead. Come on, just kill the monkey, man. He's gonna do the sword rain. That's very interesting. So I'm just gonna normal attack first. Because we're gonna heal up from this. Maybe I shouldn't touch him? 
Uh, we kill off the Kano first. Counter, come on. Yep, we save our skills, just normal attack. Yeah, my Lulu no skill ups. Come on! So I'm gluttony, counter combo. We got revenge on it. Why are we not proccing our revenge? <laughs> but this Regal no max skill, so uh, we are not gonna touch him yet. We fully focus onto this unit, the Kano. It's a nice prop. Come on, just die. Yeah, we have to cleanse. Good stun. Oh no, 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 he gets the armor break. Wait, 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 wait. Lulu against Regal. Lulu wins, right? We go for immunity. Just normal attack. Every normal attack we heal up. We cleanse. Okay. Uh, normal attack first. Is it? Yeah, yeah, we are just normal attack. <clears throat> and then now we place the remove heal. Come on, he's not a vampire. So additional turn, I don't like that. Oh my god, so much damage. We have to heal up. He already used the nuke, but he gets the counter. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. The counter, man. I think we lose. Oh. If I didn't get countered there, I think we won. Crap, so close, so close that fight. My Lulu couldn't sustain. <laughs> yeah, we even have damage received from water 18%. It's just that we took too much damage. Hmm. But it's okay. <laughs> close fight, close fight. He played well with the draft. I think I got baited to attack that. Um, the Trevor? If I focus onto maybe the other units, then we could have had the chance. Hmm. This guy quite strong. Hmm. What do we use Charlotte? Charlotte. What do we use Charlotte? I think it's fine because we ban off the mo uh, we ban off the water Ryu, I think we might win. Unless you go another speed lead. Then I might either ban one of these two units. Antares though. I just want to secure first turn. I think that is more important, right? Because we still got at least one bomb for this Antares. But maybe the Antares is the ban as well. Yeah, let's try. Because if we... If he does the pushback, Heigun goes, then we can still win. But yeah, let's see, let's see, it's gonna be interesting.
It's okay. Now we go for the strip. So we got the stun onto the bison, which is nice. Serious metal won't do too much because our Helena will be moving. Good counter as well. So we are just gonna go for the AoE, Swing Flames. And from here, can we stun? Perfect. This guy already used his skills, so we try to control this unit. Yeah, we can go for the Noble Agreement onto the Carnal. This Swing Fling will kill off this Occult Girl. And if we get one prop... <laughs> ah, no prop. Okay, never mind. Good counter. Once again, we push back, we win. Oh, never mind. We still win. Helena is sometimes so fun to play with. So yeah, uh, Gianna dies. Wait a minute. We might lose. Oh no. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. What's going on? Oh no. I think we lost. Please crit. Oh. <laughs> so close to the end. If my brother Hall didn't finish off that more, I think we lost. He hit so hard. Yeah, my Gianna is on broken. Uh, Swift, Swift broken. I just did not expect the damage output from that more. So close. So Sierra. Yeah, we'll stick to the more Cheongpong whenever people pick Sierra. And then now we're seeing Jogan. So... <clears throat> going for... Some... He's going to cleave me. Sierra, Lucian, Bastet kind of thing. Yeah, we're locking this too. And then I think we can still go with a 33% speed lead. Holy crap, you got a Gianna? Yep. <laughs> Oh, that's a very interesting last two picks. Okay, with that, I can... I can go with damage, right? We ban off Sierra. Hmm. Probably I should ban off this guy. Ah, uh, might regret my decision, but it's okay. Yeah, can we get the stunts? That's good. And I'm just gonna go for the pushback. Yeah, not gonna play greedy. Go for that, and then into the... Or the third skill, I'm just gonna exhaust everything. Oh, we are actually taking a lot of damage from these two units, you know. The problem is how do I deal with this? With this Juno. If we land the armor break here. Wow, this guy counter every single time, you know. I think we lost. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, uh, yeah, we don't have the damage output. Yeah, we'll just leave this fight a bit unlucky. Okay, what's your opinion about the guild which prefer full Guardian profile player than C2, C3 player with good rune for playing in G3 Siege? Okay, so for example, right, our guild, we don't care about the profile. We just care about the rune depth and the monsters that you build. Okay, that's how we take a look at who, which players we want to accept or not. Not about the profile. We don't care whether you're legend in arena or <laughs> RTA, all those kind of stuff. Uh, mainly, you got very good white variety of monsters and in-depth runes. Hope that answers your question. Savannah Kaki incoming. Oh, it's been a long time since I actually, since I actually used that lineup. Maybe I could play Savannah Kaki. Savanna is like this. <laughs> uh, just really bad. But 19% accuracy skill uh, from the artifacts. Valantis, man. What? Hey, all these people, man. So, so tough to fight against. Okay, let's try this. I know Valantis places glancing, but I got no choice. We need the lucky counter... counter procs. Mm. Oh, very heavy. What a lineup. He's just gonna ban off my Diana anyways, so yeah. Mm, let's see. <coughs> I'm not gonna ban Heigang. Just let it through. May I see a more rune? My more is just on Swift. Plus 202. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> No point saving my skills because the Valantis is coming. Uh, gonna move anyways. Look at that! Triple Despair Stun! So strong! And his Sierra, 100% accuracy as well. <laughs> yeah, let's just try to get some stuns here. Of course not. We got stun instead. Nice. Good job, Juno. So Moonlight Flood comes, get another stun there. Our Verdahal still potato sleeping with his revenge runes. Not activating at all. So bomb will be landed here. Of course it lands. And Verdahal will die. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh we even got another stun. Can we actually still win this? I don't think so, right? Like, no way. He's just fully focusing onto my bird now. I haven't seen the revenge word come out yet, by the way, from this guy. Oh, finally, but then double glance. <laughs> Go back to sleep, okay. Yeah, let's just quit. Oh, so strong, all these people. Okay, is there any good runes that we can keep? Mm, nope. Man. Alright, uh, we'll probably do one last fight, guys, before I end the stream because I need to prepare for tomorrow's uh, tournament as well. The Southeast Asia Champions League 2021, hosted by Comptress. So if you guys are free at 2 p.m. SGT tomorrow, feel free to drop by and chill. We'll be having some awesome fights coming up from the Challenger League and the Super League series. And tomorrow is the last day as well. 
So yeah, uh, if you're free then come chill and hang out, alright? I'm gonna ban off this Juno. Yeah, we are gonna stick to this lineup and probably fit in a Helena or this unit, Poseidon, later on. <coughs> the Endure is actually okay, yeah, yeah. I, I think I can go back and repurchase that rune. I, I remember it was like HP, attack and speed, but speed was 4. Uh, that's the reason why I didn't really like it. But I guess we could try rolling it as well. Huh, very interesting lineup. Dina is the way to go. <laughs> we bend off this unit. I don't care, we are going accuracy leader once again, alright? We need to reset this Lulu. If we fail to land the strip onto the Lulu, then we are kinda like GG. This has to land. Come on. I don't know. I feel like this wouldn't even strip again. Okay, okay, we got it, we got it. We are just gonna go for the serious matter first. Into the ventilate. We stack the bombs onto that unit. Perfect. We can cut them with a normal attack. We place the bomb here. And we go for the explosion. We kill off the tetra. So Calm Mind will come. Which is fine. Because we got the pushback once again. Okay, perfect. Clean fight. Yeah, we are gonna end it right there. <laughs> we started off at 1514, now 1541. Halfway through to what I expected. I I wanted to be around like the 1-6 region, but it's okay. Uh, good practice for today. We did at least improve our our points. We didn't lose points, so yeah, we'll definitely take this as a win. And yeah, um we'll be ending the stream right here. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alright guys, thanks for all the support and once again, if you're free tomorrow, Saturday, 2 p.m. SGT, do drop by on the Summoner's War fan page on their Facebook. And we'll be having the Southeast Asia Champions League 2021 Day 7. Right? 2 p.m. SGT once again. So yeah, uh, this is the end of it, guys. Take care, stay safe. Just gonna take a good rest. 